Hello everyone. Welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. It's cold. On our prayer requests. Got the wrong pen. Uh, Al's in the hospital. Pray he's okay. Janet Kay's friend Belinda passed away. Pray for her and Belinda's family. Yvonne Weems needs prayers for guidance. Diane has the gout and her daughter Candy has COVID. Pray they both get better. Matt S. passed away at 47. He had heart trouble and a pacemaker. Remember the family in prayer. And Bob E. was killed last week in a motorcycle accident. He was 60. Remember the family in prayer. A nine-year-old girl was killed in a drive-by shooting. Uh, she was inside the house. The house is less than a half hour away from our house. Uh, it's not that far away where it is. Uh, please pray for her family. Kathy Smith's COVID test was negative. Now her husband is sick too. Pray they're both better soon. Barbara Acker needs prayer because she had surgery on her head and it's not healing properly. Need prayer for Shane and Lori Simmons. Shane fell 30 feet. He was 30 feet up and he fell and was flown to the hospital. He had surgery on his head and brain. He has many other injuries and is in a medically induced coma. So lots of prayers today. I'm a little late this morning I slept a little longer yeah. our scripture of the day comes from John 10 7 through 18 therefore Jesus said again very truly I tell you I am the gate for the sheep all who have come before me are thieves and robbers but the sheep have not listened to them I am the gate, whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief only, comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They, they too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I receive from my father. And our devotion today is entitled Valiant Actions. John Harper had no idea what was about to unfold as he and his six-year-old daughter embarked on the Titanic. But one thing he knew, he loved Jesus and he was passionate that others know him too. As soon as the ship hit an iceberg and water started pouring in, Harper, a widower, put his little girl in a on a lifeboat and headed into the chaos to save as many people as possible. As he distributed life jackets, he reportedly shouted, let the women, children, and the unsaved into the light lifeboats. Until his last, last breath, Harper shared about Jesus with anyone who was around him. John willingly gave his life so that others could live. There was one who laid down his life freely 2,000 years ago so you and I can live not only in this life but for all eternity. Jesus didn't just wake up one day and decide he would pay the penalty of death for humanity's sin. This was his life's mission. At one point, 
when he was talking with the Jewish religious leaders, he repeatedly acknowledged, I laid down my life. He didn't just say these words, but lived them by actually dying a hor horrific death on the cross. He came so that the Pharisees, John Harper, and we may have life and have it to the full. How do you reveal that you truly love those around you? How can you show Jesus' love to someone through your actions today? Jesus, there aren't words grand enough to thank you for demonstrating the greatest act of love there is. Thank you for giving your life away so I might live. Help me to show your love to others, no matter how much it costs me. And Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs, Lord. And help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Ooh, like I said, it was really cold overnight again. I don't know what it got down to, but it's cold in here. And uh, so I'm gonna wait a while, if it warms up any, uh, to go outside. But uh, I'll go out because I need to check my garden every day and make sure it's okay. But uh, I don't know what else I got going on so far. I've, not really quite fully awake yet. So, everybody, I appreciate you so much, and I will be seeing you later on. God bless.